Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I sat down and filmed a tutorial. I have been hectic, I have been a lot over Fiji, I've been travelled back to Wellington, then I went up to New Plymouth, and then I came back to Wellington, and then I travelled down to Queenstown. So it's been real crazy, but I am here in New Zealand for six weeks. I am doing uh, a lot of makeup. Um, for brides and stuff down here in Queenstown and Wanaka and I'm currently at my friend's um, house and she has her own little filming set up so it's pretty good because it means I can just kind of you know get started get into it so um, I thought today I would do like a wedding guest makeup an easy makeup for those who are kind of looking to do their own makeup for a friend's wedding um, nothing too crazy and hopefully easy to follow so um, before you watch this video if you want to click the subscribe button that would be really really helpful and hopefully you enjoy it and click the thumbs up button at the end would be awesome okay thanks bye <sighs> Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to do a little bit of skincare. This is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate Serum. So I'm just going to apply that with a little dropper. Having good makeup, the key is good skin. So to start off, I'm going to try a new primer, which is the Maybelline Superstay Makeup Extending Primer. So it looks like this. Uh, I'm just going to put a couple of pumps on my back of my hand. Oh, it's quite liquidy. Let's see how this goes. Ultra smoothing formula, even skin surface for a perfect makeup application. Well, it feels pretty good actually. It feels very smooth. I'm going to start off with my brows. I'm going to brush them up. And then I'm going to use this... Um, Brow Pomade from Mellow Cosmetics. This is in the shade Taup, Taup. And I like it because it is quite an ashy color. So you don't need a lot of this product. A little goes a long way. It's a really creamy product, um, which makes it very easy to use. Sometimes when you get a pomade, it can be a little bit stiff and might need a little bit warming up, but um, this is really creamy and it goes on really well. So you can just do your brows however you like, like however you normally do them. Um, I'm a little bit extra I suppose with my brows, so it really depends on like how, how much you want them done. I mean that didn't take me too long, probably about a minute to do that. Um, I just find it makes the makeup, the brows just stay on really well. And then I'm going to use my brow gel. This is the Saucy Seal Styler from um, Longcom. This is my favorite brow um, gel or mascara. For the eyes, I thought I'd just do something really, well, relatively simple. It doesn't require a lot of products. Um, so I'm going to start off with a Maybelline color tattoo. This one is in the shade Pomegranate Punk. So I'm just going to apply that with a flat concealer brush. I'm just going to do one eye at a time. So I'm starting from the lash line and applying it. Once I've done that, I'm grabbing like a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out the edges of it. It does dry fairly quickly though, so working one eye at a time um, might work better for you. Right, then I'm going to take my Too Faced um, Sweet Peach palette and I am going to pick up the same fluffy blending brush, it works fine and I'm going to take the Candied Peach Shade. So I'm just looking for like a warm transition color um, and I'm just going to apply that into the crease area. If you have um, like blue, green or green eyes then using these kind of warm tones will help accentuate the color and make them pop a little bit more. So just really blending it out into the crease. Just taking another fluffy blending brush and I'm just Running it over where the transition shade meets my brow bone so that there's no any no harsh lines. Right, so this is another palette that I have. Now this is a holiday collection from like not last Christmas but the Christmas before I think. Um, it's a Bobbi Brown palette. Now what I really love about these palettes is there's generally one of these like glittery shades in here. And these glitters come like you can get them um, 
like you can buy them separately and stuff. I don't own any separately, but I will definitely look to buy some when these run out of the palettes. But these palettes are really good, um, like they're really little and eat, like travel friendly. So sometimes I'll just take this palette and there's like, you know, some darker shades, um, they're all matte shades and then you have your glitters. Um, but anyway, the glitters are like, like a, a kind of like a pressed glitter. It's kind of hard to explain, but they're really oh, like a pretty glitter. And I love putting these over top of like other shades. So I'm just going to pick that up and I'm just going to put it all over the lid and basically like I think they come in a range of like glittery shades but you can just apply it over top of like whatever shades you've got going on underneath and it just kind of transforms it into a really really pretty glittery eye and then I'm just going to take that matte cream shade there's one in the sweet peach palette too um, so you can use whatever but um, I'm just going to apply that to the brow bone. Okay so that kind of does that for now. Um, pretty simple and quick, hopefully you guys think so too. Okay so I'm going to get some foundation on, probably just use my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is in the shade 220, I think it's a little bit fair for me at the moment. Fusion Ink Foundation because it is a darker shade than my Maybelline one. I absolutely adore this foundation, but it is very expensive. It's going on quite nicely with the um, primer underneath. It's quite smooth, which is nice. Right, going in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin weightless complete coverage foundation right so I'm just kind of applying that along where my eyeshadow meets and cleaning that up because it was a little bit messy from all my blending earlier sadly I think that one is coming to the end of its life right so I'm just going to use the same brush to pat that into the skin Okay, so to set it, I'm just going to use one powder today. I would usually use two. Um, I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. I generally use this on my brides because it is such a um, lovely powder. Um, it really does like smooth everything and just, I don't know, sets the face. And then I'm just grabbing a bigger brush and I'm just going to set everywhere else. So then I am going to grab my normal bronzer which is um, Hola by Benefit and um, I like to use a, bl a br blush brush when I apply my bronzer. I like the size of it and I'm just going to really bronze up my cheeks because I'm not contouring today. I just like to have the bronzer kind of create a bit more definition around my face. If you want to contour of course go ahead and do so but I think that for this makeup we're just you know trying to be a little less time consuming while still looking fresh. Okay so I'm just gonna grab a highlighter this is the Becca um, Champagne Pop and a brush I'm just gonna apply that to Tops the cheekbones. So quite glowy now, which is good. And then I'm gonna grab the um, Papa Don't Peach um, Illuminating Bronzer from Too Faced. These have just released on the 31st of January in New Zealand. So if you are interested in checking them out and smelling them, you can go to Mika Maxima in Christchurch. But they've just released um, the information that they're going to be opening a Wellington Mecca, which is pretty exciting. So if you live there, you can go and check it out there too. Or you can just buy them online from Mecca as well. But as usual, I will link all the links below. Okay, I'm going to grab a smaller brush, same candied peach shade from the Too Faced palette. And I'm just going to run that 
underneath my eyes and join up to their eyeshadow at the top. I quite like a like a shadowy um, under eye, like quite smoked out. But if you don't, just maybe don't apply as much. Okay, so I'm going to put some lashes on, but that is completely optional. Uh, these are a new style from Eve Lashes in the shade, not in the shade, in the style Bex. I've already used these the other day. Um, these, this style is not available yet, but they will be very, very soon. Um, they're very like the um, House of Lashes Bambi and Socialized Fixin, which are one of my favorite styles. If you are going to apply lashes, I do recommend just drawing a really, really thin line with liquid eyeliner along the base of your lashes so that when you do apply the lashes um, they look a little bit more like you can't see them the band as much and stuff if you apply a little thin line to the lash line if you're not going to wear false lashes um, you can just apply like heaps of mascara and that will just bring the look together right then I'm just going to um, line my lips with um, LA Girl lip liner. And then kind of just grab any lipstick that you like wearing. This is Mellow Cosmetics in Nude. And if you want, you can put some um, lip balm or lip gloss over the top. This is a new YSL um, Volupte. And then of course, see everything with the setting spray. This is the Scandinavia makeup finishing spray. And that's the final look guys. I hope you liked it. I think that it is fairly simple to create. Not too many products. Hopefully you find the same. Um, I really like just using like um, a couple of eyeshadows and the base. I find it's just really, really easy. And if you don't have much time, you can do the same. Um, definitely check out um, the glitters from um, Bobbi Brown. I will put some links below. But also you can just use any color. Like you don't have to do like these peachy tones. You could do like browns or um, grays, which would be really, really nice. And you just kind of do the same sort of thing, the same concept, and just put like a little glitter over the top. It just kind of makes it a little bit more special. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, follow all my social media links. I will put them all down below, especially on Snapchat because you'll always see previews of any makeup looks that I do. If you do recreate it, please um, tag me in any photos that you take. Um, and of course, subscribe to my channel because that just really, really helps me out and um, make sure that you won't miss out on any looks that I do create. Um, have an awesome day and I will chat to you later. Bye!